What's up guys, Nick here, CrankAthletes.com. Here to show you the fourth and final installment of our Crank Athlete Combine. It is the push-up. It's the household name, it's a basic movement that everyone knows, or everyone thinks they know. We're here to make sure you do them correctly and give you a test that is true to what you, your real strength is. There's going to be two different types of push-ups we're doing. For the more advanced, we're going to be doing floor push-ups. With our floor push-ups, you want your hands to be just outside your chest. Toes into the ground, body straight in a tight plank position. Okay, from here. We want to make sure that our hands aren't over our shoulders, but rather our chest. We're going to drop down to the floor, bang it back up, bring it down, explode up. We want to make sure our elbows and our hands aren't too close to our body, so we're going to do a crappy wrestling push-up, and we want to make sure they're not too far out wide, to where you can't get a good full range and put a lot of strain on your shoulders. Okay? Good hand position, all the way down, lock all the way out at the top. That's our floor push-up. If you're having trouble with that, we're going to bring you over to the bench. Okay? Same, same everything except the angle is not as low, it's higher, it helps you fight less gravity. Hands into the bench. Make sure you get a good arch. Chest should land right on top of the bench. Drive up. Keep your body nice and tight. Avoid sinking hips. And avoid your butt being too high. And remember, over your chest. Not your shoulders. Alright. Again, it's Nick, CrankAthletes.com. And this is our fourth installment of the Crank Combine. It's the push-up.